So as you know, brothers and sisters, we have a digital organ on its way. It's been uh, constructed in, uh, in Italy by Viscount and an outstanding uh, company that, that does this. Uh, we're expecting it any day now. And so I thought we'd bring on our director of sacred music, Mr. Alex McCune, just to kind of tell us a little bit more about uh, what to expect when we have an organ. I mean, I, to tell you the truth, this was the first Catholic parish I ever served in that didn't have an organ. Hmm. Um, and so I, usually it's like, it's kind of like just part of a Catholic church is that you have an organ. Um, and why is that? Why, why is the, I know, we know that the, the human voice is the most important uh, instrument that we use, but why the organ? Well, the organ ended up being popular for Catholic churches over the years uh, because it supports the human voice really well. Like you play a note on a piano and it starts to fade right away. That's why a pianist usually is playing a lot of notes to keep filling in the sound. But on an organ, you play a note and it keeps playing at that strength as long as you want it. Ah, oh, that's right. So, so because the piano is like a percussive instrument, so you, exactly. the hammer hits the string and then the sound starts to die. Yeah. But on an organ, it, it, just stay, it stays constant. Exactly. It's a wind instrument. Uh -huh. um, it's got flutes. And the other side for an organ is it's a very versatile instrument. You want more sound, you got it. You want less sound, you got it. You want a different character. It can show so many feelings with an organ. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, I never thought of that. So, so it has an emotional quality to it that you can, sh you can shape the sound. Again, going back to the piano, which is a great instrument for its own use, but it only has, it's kind of one dimensional. As exactly. It, as, as in terms of what it can do. Yeah, I can play a little louder or a little softer. That's it that's on a it. piano. Uh -huh. But, uh, and that's why the organ also, you know, became sort of over the centuries, it became used by the church so much that it's kind of developed just as the Catholic Mass developed. Mm -hmm. And so it's become really an integral part. That's why uh, in Vatican II, they talked about the organ being the most important instrument mm. to go along with the human voice. Interesting, that's, oh, that's great. Now, uh, I, I know some, there might be some people watching this and when they think about a church organ, they think like Phantom of the Opera, or like, <laughs> you know, or like a circus, or you know, like what, what, what are we, what should we expect to hear, it's gonna, is it going to be a different experience? Is it what? Can you mm -hmm. put, describe to us or give us a little preview of, of what yeah. we would expect? In well, mostly I would say, in, in terms of what to expect, not much change. It's certainly not going to change the character of the Mass. You know, we've worked hard to, uh, to set ourselves up so that when we worship, we have this reverent, um, uh, contemplative sort of feeling in church. You know, we can focus on the Eucharist. Um, and the organ is there to just help with that. Mm -hmm. For example, anything we sing, the organ can support. But if you play it right, you know, if you don't turn on everything and try to sound like Phantom of the Opera, <laughs> it doesn't sound like Phantom of the Opera. And I got to say, I was thinking about this this morning. If you have never sung a hymn that you know, or maybe a mass part you know, with the organ holding up your voice, it is an experience. Oh wow! It is, yeah, because be we've, really we've been a cappella a lot, you know, and that's an a cappella singing. I know as a singer is like that's like that's really hard. Yeah, you know, like we, yeah. we've been doing really hard things for a while now. And, yes, and so uh, the the organ is gonna it's gonna get easier, I guess, to sing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay. mostly the organ the organ is here for two reasons. Um, we're going to use it for supporting the singing. That's the primary reason. It's here to support the human voice, not to take over but to support the human voice. Mm -hmm. So generally when we're singing, um, you'll hear the organ, but you'll hear the voices mostly. The organ is there to help. And the other thing the organ can do is express things during mass at appropriate times. Say at offertory, there's a little bit of silence. Maybe the organ will be used to play something that's appropriate to the day. Mm -hmm. On like Easter, it might sound a little more joyful. On a quiet Sunday, it's gonna be a little more thoughtful. Mm -hmm. um, and so it can add to the character of the mass by its prayerful sound. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, that's something to look forward to. Yeah, and I, I just want to say for you know a lot of people they think pipe organ, you know, thinking Halloween music. No way, no way. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to sound like that. You can be rest assured it's not going to sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I what what uh, what's sticking with me is the. Uh, is really how versatile it, uh, the organ is to be able to express and to do and support the things to, to help us to, to sing, right? Because again, the whole point of, our, of music is the singing of the human voice. Exactly, right? and, yeah. And we really want, I mean, we really want congregational singing 
uh, in our church, you know, and whether it's a hymn or a chant or a mass part or, mm-hmm. you know, all that, uh, that the organ, we're looking forward to having that help us to, to sing and Absolutely. You know, give us those notes. Because, you know, sometimes if I have to pull a note out of thin air, it's not the right, it's not the right note. You're pretty good. <laughs> but if you have the, if we have that, that the, the organ help helping us to mm-hmm. stay on, stay on track and on tune, yeah. that's, that's great. And I'm actually really happy that the congregation, you know, just by how things worked, had such a long time of singing a cappella, because that forces you to use the voice to get used to the feeling of it. And I think that adding the organ, like I said, as a support, is going to be an amazing feeling. It's really going to add to the mass. Mm. Nice, nice. Well, thank you so much for educating us on that. We're looking forward to the arrival of the organ and its installation and and sound. And so we will we will look forward to having the that support and that beauty in our mass. Yeah.